Working in the Williams Sonoma Test Kitchen, we get an opportunity to try every product before we decide to sell it. Last week, I got the chance to try the Breville Risotto Plus, and I loved it. Not only will it allow you to cook risotto without stirring it, which is pretty amazing in itself, but it's also a rice cooker and the perfect slow cooker if you're cooking for two to four people. Today I'm going to make risotto with chicken and pesto and arugula in it. It is so delicious and kind of shows off all of the amazing features of the Breville Risotto Plus. Now it has a saute feature, which I love. So I'm just gonna turn that on and press start. This actually allows you to brown the meat or the onions or anything that you're doing ahead of time before you put all of your other ingredients in. I thought that this was so clever because you don't actually have to dirty another pot or pan to make your recipe. So I just wanna give it about two to three minutes to heat up. So it's been about two minutes and I'm ready to start sauteing my chicken. So cool, it's hot in here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter to the bottom of the pan. You'll see that it's actually non-stick, it's got a non-stick interior, but I just like to add a little butter for flavor. You could certainly add like a teaspoon of olive oil if you wanted as well. I'm just gonna saute some chicken that I've diced already. If you wanted to add a lot of chicken, you could do this in batches. I've probably got like a cup to a cup and a half of chicken here. And I think that's perfect for the risotto because you're gonna get all the flavors of the pesto and the arugula and everything else too. So once you've kind of spread it out on the bottom, you can cover it and let it cook for about one to two minutes and then I'll turn it and let it cook for another minute or two. We'll take it out and then add everything else we want to make our risotto. So let's see if the chicken's done. It's been about four minutes and I've just given it a quick stir. It's perfect, it's just cooked through, that's all you need. I'm actually gonna take all the chicken out. So now I'm just gonna add some other aromatics to the pan, some garlic and some onion and a little bit of olive oil and butter. This will be the base of our risotto. And I'm keeping it on the saute function. Perfect. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir and then you can actually put the lid on again. You'll hear it come back up to temperature. Perfect. We'll just give it about three to five minutes to cook before adding our rice. So my onions and garlic are done cooking and now I'm just gonna add my risotto. You'll see, I'm just gonna press the cancel button and change it to the risotto setting. There we go. I like to coat the rice for a couple minutes just to make sure all of the grains really absorb all of these flavors. Then I'll go ahead and add my chicken stock. Okay, let's just give it about two minutes. Now it's time to add the stock. I've got five cups of chicken stock. You could certainly use vegetable stock, beef stock, whatever you prefer. Now here is the coolest part about the Risotto Plus. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir, put the lid on, and it'll cook itself. You don't have to do anything after this. It will shut off between 20 and 30 minutes when it's done cooking, that's it. My risotto's finished cooking and it actually shuts itself off and moves automatically to the keep warm function. So clever. You wanna eat risotto pretty quickly after you cook it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stir in all of my other ingredients, which is about a cup of arugula. It's gonna add a really fresh peppery flavor. Some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of pesto, and I'll put my chicken back in too and just give it a quick stir. All right, for the chicken, I love that this can all be done in one pot. It's just so easy. Let's give it a stir. Just wanna make sure the pesto is really well incorporated and spread out. It smells incredible. Can you believe you didn't have to stir this at all? Okay, we're ready to give it a try. Let's see here. Wow. Risotto with chicken, pesto, and arugula, and just add a little extra Parmesan cheese on top. Let's try it. It's delicious and made all in one pot. It was just so easy.